Alrighty, boys. This one's kind of a big deal, I gotta say. I know it doesn't seem like it, but this is Diego Sanchez. Diego Sanchez, the, uh, the very first Ultimate Fighter winner. And he did it at middleweight against Kenny Florian. If you guys haven't seen that, what is this dude doing? And did I just see that his name is Head, head Movement? If you guys haven't seen the fight, go watch it. Let's see if I can take this dude down. Let's see if we can. There we go. That match against Kenny Florian was quite interesting, man. No, you get to really see. It's like it's not. If the only version of Diego Sanchez that you've seen is the recent version of Diego Sanchez training with freaking touch touch butt in the park. And, you know, just kind of the, the, the Diego that just fell off really, 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 really hard. You owe it to yourself, in my opinion, to go back and, and watch some of these, this man's earlier matches. That fight against Kenny Florian was incredibly impressive uh, for multiple reasons. One, Kenny Florian was a black belt at the time. Still is. I mean, he don't. Um, and he took him down. Mounted him and just beat him down. Absolutely beat him down. Defeated him in the first round to to win the ultimate fighter at middleweight. A lot of y'all probably don't even know who Kenny Florian is at the at the moment, do you? It's very interesting how these guys were moving up and down weight weight classes. Like like Diego has fought in the middleweight division. He's fought at <clears throat> He's fought at welterweight, he's fought at lightweight, he's fought at featherweight, if I remember correctly. Uh, and Kenny Florian ended his UFC run in the featherweight division. It used to be... Damn, okay, Dan! <laughs> this dude overwhelmed me with fakes and actually got it. He's not biting. All right. He wants to just strike. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. It's a clone. It is a clone. They are all over the place, bro. All over the place. It is a clone. It is a clone. Now, a player like this, he wants you to... He does his best work if you stand directly in front of him. Um... And, but it's not just about standing directly in front of him. He wants you to stand in front of him and also throw hands. He wants you to, as you're throwing hands, he's whiffing and freaking, you know. Now, normally speaking, when I'm facing someone like this, I would focus very, very heavily on just kicking their legs. By the way, my, my voice is all, <coughs> my voice is all messed up today. So, sorry about that. But yeah, usually with a player like this, like I'll uh, kind of focus mostly on just kicking the legs. But he is not him. You know what I mean? He's clearly trying to mimic. You don't see that? He's clearly trying to mimic what he's seen Nas UFC do. But he's going to do it. He's going to do it piss poorly. <clears throat> Jeez, man. Yeah. He'll do a piss poorly.
These players, man, these players. See that? He's standing directly in front of me because he wants me to tee off to his head. But I'm not going to do that. When he does that, I'm just going to start working the body a little bit. Keep working the legs. There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then when he starts, like, head movement like that, just back up. Just back up. When he starts, like, doing all that head shit, just take a step back. Especially now, especially now that um, there was a glitch these guys used to do where they will move their head and advance at the same time. Like they move their head and do a shuffle that draws them closer. You, they can't do it anymore. They can't do it anymore. So you can just back up. And I, I actually see a big fat hole in this guy's game right now. Yeah, he's, he's doing the, he's trying to, he's trying to mimic this style, but he is just butchering it. He's doing it terribly. The left hook is literally right there. Because every single time... <clears throat> oh, he's stepping back on it right now? See, when he does that... When he does that... That right that right sway into the right hook, the left hook is there. So he goes here. This is something that I've, I've, I've labbed just because of this fucking style. When he goes this way and throws to the body... Because he's leaving this side open, the left hook lands. And it lands consistently. If they get smart, they'll go this way and pull back. But he's not pulling back. So I'm going to show it. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate it. Mm -hmm. He's about to do it right there. That right there, the left hook's right there. Hold on. Uh huh. Ah! again my guy this is not working this is not working for you there it is Yep. Yep. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And with that one, he was actually returning back. He was returning back with a... Nah. Yep. Yep, there we go. There we go. It is spreading like wildfire, man. It's spreading like wildfire, I swear to God. You see what you've done, Nas? See what you've done, bro? Have you seen what you've done, brother? Anyways, let's move on.
Mo bola gite mitayo o dunayo. A de sonya. Let's get it. October zone. Hey! Let's wrestle, let's wrestle, let's wrestle. Everybody's so passive today. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? There's a pass. No. I'm really looking forward to using Rashad. He's not going to let me get that. Come on. There we go. He's not going to... Um, that's not what I was about to say. I can't wait to use Rashad Evans in the heavyweight division as well. He really won't let me get that. Yeah, we'll check out Rashad. Very excited with these, about these. Yeah, you're not going to get that again next time, bro. Very excited about these Ultimate Fighter. Alter, um, Ultimate Fighter editions and Alter Egos. I, I'm really, really happy with it. Bro. If you... If <laughs> holy hell, I'm taking these guys very seriously. I really am because the style that they're using right now, even though they're not doing it as well as some other people, it is still a very potent style, man. It really is. It really, really is. And I don't know what is wrong with my voice today. Like, it actually hurts to talk. What the hell? Got him. Maybe I'm too. Maybe I'm, uh. <laughs> <That's what laughs> I was about to say something just wild right now, but I caught myself. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. Sometimes I got to remind myself that I am, I'm on the internet. I'm on YouTube and I got to be, got to be careful now. Got him. Boom. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to do this for for much longer to be honest with you guys. And it's it's not for a lack of love. It's just um like I think I think UFC 6 might be my last one. If I'm being honest, I believe I, I think there's a very good chance after UFC 6 I'm <clears throat> and like I've always known this in my heart of hearts that like when I uh, when I leave the internet man like I'm actually gonna leave leave like I'll just I'll literally just disappear from everything like Instagram gone Twitter gone YouTube gone I'll just fucking just disappear just 
go do something completely different. Ah, got him. But we'll see. You know what I mean? I'm. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, you know, you just never, you, you never know what could happen in the future. You know what I mean? He got it. Pretty much, if things remain stale, if things remain stale, I, I'll definitely have to do something else with my, with my time. Because, man, we have very little time on this freaking planet, man. We really do. We don't have a lot of time on this planet. And... I say this all the time. Go! Oh, that was a nice count. I gotta watch that again. Give me your no! Oh, you try, you try, you try, you try to wiggle out. Nah, nigga, give me that arm. You know, I say it all the time, man. It's like, as I get older, I realize just really how little time we have on this planet, dude. Like. It's, it really is nothing, bro. Bible says, right, our, our years are 70 or 80. 80 years is nothing, bro. Like, I know 80-year-old people, and they are still full of life. Like, I, literally, when I, when I used to, when I used to be, a, when I used to work as a CNA, as a nursing assistant, I met a lot of older folks, a lot of them. And a lot of those, a lot of these people, man, you just, you look in their eye, and you can see that they're not ready. They're not ready. And a lot of them, sickness, bad health, nature, whatever, is making that decision for them. They're not ready. <clears throat> They're still full of life. They're still fun, easygoing. Oh, there's that counter. Absolutely filthy. Beautiful. But they're not ready, man. And, and But they have to. It's like... You get to a point where you have to be, you just have to be ready. No matter what, you got to be ready to go. Because you're going to go, period. And I just... I don't want to turn 40 and realize that I spent a decade of my life on the... Like, doing internet shit, bro. Like, don't get me wrong, I touch grass. I touch grass all day long. I... I train boxing, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu right now, multiple times a week. I'm active. I don't just sit at home. I mean, I, I go to the gym. I hang out with my family, with my kids. I mean, I'm doing stuff. I'm not just sitting here, but still, it's just... I want to build something. You know what I mean? That's just the truth. I want to build something. All right, I got to fix this camera. Hold on. I'm going to posture up right here and fix this camera. There we go. I want to build something. And as I think about it, like... Yeah, I want to build something. And no, building a YouTube channel to over 400,000 subscribers is not what I mean by I want to build something. I want to create a product. I want to create a product that will have my name stamped on it. For eternity. Um, and then I want to challenge myself to just do something else at some point. So, unless UFC 6 just becomes, I don't know, just an absolute phenom of a video game, and we get another MMA game, and we get a boxing game, and, you know what I mean? Like, the, the whole entire scene will have to just be booming. Hey, what? That should have been a raw. That was well timed. But yeah, besides that, bro, I'm gonna get out of here sooner than people think. Mhm. Mm Goodbye. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Some. 
using guys like playing guys like Diego Sanchez, Forrest Griffin, all these older OG fighters, it gets me nostalgic and it gets me thinking about stuff like this. It's it's weird. Like I look at I, I'm it's like I'm going back in time. You know what I mean? Like this is this is twenty this is two thousand and five. This is 2005 Diego Sanchez at middleweight. This is, this is like history right here. This is, this is history you're looking at right here. Immortalized in a video game. A version of him that was, uh, it's, it, it does something to my head when I think about it. But I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go right ahead and leave a like. Um... If you watch up until this point, just type the nightmare in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.